how long does this chip supply shortage, which you mentioned is a crisis, how long would that continue? Yeah, our, you know, with, with or without the CHIPS Act, we think we still have some rough road in front of us. And I've said, you know, we believe the chip shortage is at its worst right now. It will get incrementally better as we go through 22, but we expect the shortage to persist into 23. It just takes that long to build capacity. Now, you know, if the CHIPS Act doesn't pass, if the European Act doesn't pass, you know, we think the slope of the recovery dampens. You know, if it passes, I'm announcing our next fab. Right? I mean, I am, you know, shovels go into ground more, more rapidly if this gets put into place. So let's get it done at that level so that we can, you know, you know increase the slope of the recovery more rapidly. But it's also, as Winston Churchill said, never waste a good crisis. You know, if we come out of this and we haven't created the environment for a more geographically balanced supply chain and we become more dependent on Asia, right? You know, how terrible, right? You know, that we haven't really fixed the problem. And as we well know, some of these areas in the world are very geopolitically unstable. You know, let's, let's build back better, right? As the Biden campaign uh, uh, included in its uh, political uh, process, build back in the way that we want these to occur. The CHIPS Act is critical. We want these fabs on American and European soil, and we're ready to step up, build bigger and faster, right? With the investments of the government. 